Also perfect. Three wood for Deschambeau. He did that yesterday. Carried the bunker comfortably. That's excellent as well. Slight breeze from the left, but not much of it. Relatively easy to hit it sort of 15, 18 feet past. The line is so good. Well, there's the intent from Deschambeau. Birdie's the first. He's too clear already. Going with the driver, wind off the left. It's 327 to the front edge, 345 to the hole. That front bunker's not a bad place today. Pretty straightforward putt. It's a bit speedy. He might miss the green here. And that's a poor one from Deschambeau. <laughs> Needs to get this in the fairway. He's got a chance to run away with it, Jay, hasn't he? But I don't think he likes his drive. He's in that bunker again, I think. Oh, he oh. missed the bunker, Sam, and oh. he's hit it over the hill. That is a long one, and yes, he makes birdie here. The rest of the field's going to have to start taking some chances they might not want to take. Downhill I win behind, and the wind is really picked up. This should be nothing more than a good six. That is magnificent. Very similar to Kiros's shot, but it's just run a bit further through it, but a fantastic shot by our leader. <coughs> it's not far away, let me tell you. Oh, it went back left at the end. He won't believe that didn't go in. That was a beautiful putt again from Deschambault. He pitched in the back bunker here yesterday, flew it a good 20 past what he intended. Cam, he gets Threewood gets out there though because it lands on a down slope, slight breeze from the right. Another gorgeous tee shot from Deschambault. This is likely going to be 8, 10 feet past the hole with a decent shot. Well, maybe a little better. What a shot. Wow. That's pretty impressive right there. Not much green to work with. It's only eight yards wide. I don't think I'd like to play him at chess. It's another fabulous iron shot. I know it's 35, 40 feet past, but that green, you miss that green left and it's very difficult. There's that spectacular view from the eighth tee. Bryson DeChambeau is not admiring the skyline though. He's just looking at that fairway. And he's gonna run through it a little, no problems though. But then it's down a bank. Look to have started right edge of the green, which is where he'd be aiming. Oh, that's magnificent. And the boy is very special, and he's shown as good he is. He said, I'm not on top of my game, but I'll still win. I'll get the job done tomorrow. Like a highly polished shoe. Here's Nezzy. Tee shot at 10 from the leader. We didn't hold back, I think he's had a, a honey right down the middle. Perfection, absolutely ideal. <coughs> well, that's just superb. That for Eagle to get to 21 under. 
and five ahead. It's a minute and ten, Andrew Walls telling us he's timing them. He makes his eagle though, and that could be an absolutely crucial moment in this final round. Excellent iron shot, precision personified. Another very makeable one. Just too good. What a wonderful two after an, an amazing eagle three at the tenth. Oh, shot! Shot! <laughs> Doesn't look that great, but that really is a good shot. Oh, hit a bump. Oh, it's a brilliant putt. Just going to run a little bit too far, but it won't be a huge problem for him. He can bathe it around those palms. Another beautiful tee shot. Nobody's pushing him. I think it's just a no, a no mistake finish, Jay. And he's very capable of making three birdies from here. And he's put it in the front bunker, and that's just in the front bunker. It won't be as easy as we thought if he played a pitch and run. Oh, I love this spot. The reason I like the bunker shot, Sam is the fact that you practice a bunker shot, more, as that one got away, you practice a bunker shot more than you practice in. Oh. Perfection. I think, you know. I mean, that's extraordinary. He wants to win by 10. That was magnificent, Jay. Fantastic shot. You can see the way he was working that in right to left with the spin. He has another one. The lead is seven. playing a little bit right of this team. No, he's not. He's going absolutely straight down the banner. What a beautiful shot. Control draw. This is some of the best golf we've seen in a long while. Science! Science! That chap won't be invited again next year. No, driver's the play there for me, getting past the corner. Fascinating conversation between player and caddy. No, no time did they really talk about the lie though, which was amazing to me because every lie in a rough is different. It comes out differently, so just shows you everything he's trying to normalise. Twenty yards is uphill. Don't jam it up a palm tree. Absolutely perfect once again. Pop it up in the air, but you can never tell with him. Reasonably well. Bound to run out a little. Oh, it's another sweet, sweet shot. So difficult at the club, and the contact just as you like it. Like well, for another birdie, this to get to 24 under. The record has been passed. I told Lee's record of 23 under. Perfect. He wants one two five, G. You've got to tell us what he's got there. It'd be extraordinary if he's got one two five.
all messed up. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. A stunning exhibition of golf by Bryson DeChambeau. A 64, 24 under par. One of the most impressive wins we have seen in 30 years of the Dubai Desert Classic. And this young man from California may just be changing the game. Bryson, many, many congratulations. For three days you've been telling me you were happy with the score but not happy with your game. Surely today you're happy with the game. Today I was happy with my game. I executed a lot of great shots, um, you know. But uh, first off, I want to say thank you again to Your Highness or His Highness. Thank you. Appreciate everything you've done. The hospitality has been fantastic. Um, I can say this is the the future of the world. This place, the city, what you guys have done, it's just absolutely fantastic. So great job. And then um, today was a, a pleasure. It was obviously a lot of fun to be able to finally hoist an international trophy so happy about that four wins in your last nine starts the others have all been top 20s okay. what is happening how is this happening oh it's it's a lot of hard work with my caddy um, and and just really grinding and trying to figure out how to take account of all the variables out there you know whether it's uh, air pressure firmness values uh, mile per hour on the speed you know putts and you know, ball speed and spin rates. We're trying to figure out as much as possible so I can be as consistent as possible, and obviously it's, it's showing. You were three ahead with nine to play. You eagled the tenth. You're now five ahead. It's in mm -hmm. your hands. Just tell us what was going through your mind as the back nine unfolded with such a commanding lead. It just don't lose it. <laughs> no, I mean, I was full force trying to shoot 2,500 a day and missed it by one, but I'm, I think I'm happy with the results for sure. I was just trying to go as deep as possible today. You told me on Wednesday when we chatted that you'd come here in 2016 as an amateur and you putted really poorly, but you'd figured something out. What yeah. did you figure out? Oh, the grain. I won't go too deep into it, but the grain is definitely a huge factor out here that we were able to take care of beautifully this week. You've been number five in the world for some time. You told me in the middle of last year it would be really cool to get in the top five. Yeah. How much now have you got an eye on that number one spot? Because the form you're in, yeah. it's a matter of time, surely. Yeah, I, I think so, and I hope so. You know, I've got to keep working on my game and, and focus on what I can do out there and what I can improve on. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's no biggie. I'll just keep working harder. Many, many congratulations. Just give that trophy thank another you. cuddle for us. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.